Hi everybody, I'm Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a spoiler free review of a book that might be my favorite book this year so far. This is Black Mouth by Ronald Malfi and this came out in July. I just, I don't even know. Actually, I know exactly what to tell you about this. Oh my god. So in this book we're following a man named Jamie and when we meet Jamie he has just gotten out of rehab. He is dealing with alcohol addiction and um it's currently kind of ruining his life and he gets a call like right right out of rehab that his mother has died and that his brother his adult brother Dennis who has down syndrome has been left alone for who knows how long with his dead mother's body so he has to quickly go and um travel to a different state to his home state to pick up Dennis uh things really pick up from there so we know that Jamie has had some stuff happened in his past, um, some really rough stuff. A lot of it revolves around this incident that happened to him when he was, I think, 11 years old. Um, and it was him, his brother Dennis, his friend Mia, and his friend Clay. And they are kind of befriended by this homeless man who starts teaching them magic tricks. And things get really sinister um, as they get to know this magic man. There are dual timelines in this, one where we are meeting the magic man with these children and seeing what's going on, and one where, as adults, they're coming back together um, because there has been this crime that is very similar to some events that happened in their childhood, and they're wondering, how is this possible? Is this connected to the magic man? And uh, they find out and oh my god, it's just so good. This is quite a long book. Um, this is over 400 pages, but it is just so readable. Um, I have to say, at first it was really hard to be with Jamie. He's not exactly a likable person. Um, he is he has this alcohol addiction, right? And it makes him not very pleasant to be around. But he has a great arc as a character. I think all of these people have great arcs as characters. And it's really interesting to see how things change for them um, from the beginning of this story to the end of the story. And it's really interesting to, you know, kind of go through their childhood and find out exactly why they are the way that they are, um, good or bad, you know? Probably don't want to tell you guys too much of the plot because I think having this story unfold before you is really rewarding. Um, there is just such a really interesting cast of characters in this and there is a character in this that I cannot tell you about, but they are so interesting and it really just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to convey to you guys how interesting and compelling this book was. Um, this is a book that I marathon read. Like I read it until my body hurt and I was like tossing and turning on the couch and in my bed and like I just needed to find out what was going to happen and um, this is a great... just all of the story was great. This is a story that is like watching a movie. It's cinematic and if this doesn't get optioned for film I might start a fucking riot because it is so... Oh, I mean like I cast characters in my head. It's like I'm watching this. It's so descriptive and Malfi's writing is just so fucking good and it's so compelling and interesting and this plot is so interesting and it's got um I don't know just all the hallmarks of a great movie where um there's the dual timelines. There's, you know, the children and the adults and they're all at different places in their, in their lives, but they come together to confront this thing that happened in their past. And it's just so fucking good, you guys. And I'm realizing now, <laughs> I wish, I just really wish that I could um, do spoilers, but I really don't, I really don't want to do spoilers because 
I think everyone should read this and um, you know have that experience. So I guess that is all I have to tell you about Black Mouth by Ronald Malfi, which is my favorite book that I've read this year, hands down. Um, I really enjoyed every fucking second of this, even the beginning where we're introduced to Jamie, who's not a very good dude at first, you know? So um, yeah, I just really, really think that you should read this, especially if you've read Malfi before um, and you know what his writing's like and you know that you like his work, then this is a fucking home run, right? Um, so this is a great book. Let me know if I've convinced you to read this. Let me know if you have read this and um, what you thought about it. I'd love to hear. So that's Black Mouth. I have a little clicky linky for my bookshop.org affiliate page in my description if you'd like to pick it up from there. Um, yeah, that's all I have though. So let me know, have I convinced you? Have you read it? Did you like it? Uh, that's it though, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. 